Hello everyone, we're going to be doing something really, really interesting today. We're going to debug some open board games as far as like, uh, as you will, every which way but loose, Clint Eastwood style fashion. But I have the Retro Arc stream, all that fun stuff, running on my PC, which is a mid-range PC. I have stuff like PS2, Wii, uh, GameCube, all that stuff run reasonably well. But I got the Retro Pocket 3 Plus, which runs stuff better than my, even my PC can. But we're going to do a little bit of a debug here with open board. Here we go. And uh, the game, Akari Warriors 2010, fantastic game. The only problem is I don't want to have to deal with any kind of copyright infringement issues because I want to be able to share this in a mod hub for the SNES, NES, and, of course, the Mega Drive Mini and TurboGrafx-60 Mini, etc. So I kind of retool this with absolute respect and uh, patience, perseverance, and devotion, and, of course, appreciation to the original developer of the game and all the people involved. Uh, here we go. I'm calling it Soldiers of Fury, which is very, very interesting because the original game, Akari Warriors, the Japan name for it, basically translates to Fury off of Rambo 3. So yes, we have Rambo 3. Obviously, we have Rambo with the red bandana and Akari Warriors without the name. So it's kind of funny that I'm calling it Soldiers of Fury, but it's basically the original Akari Warriors actually kind of infringes upon the uh, non-named characters of Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone. I mean, it is as you will. But uh, we're going to load this game up right now in a very, very special way. Uh, we're going to fast forward right into the game here. Get to the crash point. Winners don't use drugs. Okay. Start game. New game. Car Warriors. Uh, we're going to pick this guy for now. Get right into the game. Yeah, you could, <laughs> I'll show you that when we do it again, but... Main thing is we want to get to the second stage because the game always crashes in the second stage. So the way you debug things would be typically having crash logs and knowing how to read them. So I'm going to give you an example of a crash log when this game crashes. And it can be utilized for many, many things like programs. Say for example, your Google Chrome crashes, you could look at an error log. Uh, unfortunately, scammers, scammers might call you on the phone and say, Hey, your computer is messed up. You got Windows, right? Go here, and it'll be like, you have millions of error messages on your logs. And then you panic, give them access to your computer remotely. And then next thing you know, you're given like PayPal information. Just don't do it. Don't answer the phone unless you actually know somebody. Don't, don't just answer the phone and just randomly talk to people. But here we go. The game is going to crash. It's going to Ralph, uh, literally, metaphorically. Watch what happens when I lose my health there. Bam. Why does it crash? Oh, Retroarch has it stopped working. A problem caused the program to stop working correctly. Windows will close the program and notify you if a solution is available. How many times have you tried to use this and it doesn't do a damn thing? I mean, I could debug it. This is simply it's not going to help. That's not what we're trying to do here. We're going to open up the crash log here. Okay, we have an open board crash log. And uh, this is very, very cool because uh, if you utilize PPSSPP, and uh, run open board that way, you can try to load a game, and uh, you're not going to be able to load too big of a game because the assets will simply not be able to load into memory, and you're going to have the games crash. That is why I like the older version of TMT Rescue Palooza works, but the newer version doesn't because it is simply too big. Same with, of course, a few games like Streets of Rage Remake. But in the case we're going to go here, Warriors of Fury Pack, loaded fine, but going down here, we're going to look for some errors. We have cash in the character data and all that. Going down, going down. There's going to be something that's indicative. Oh, right there. Sound load sample. Can't load sample from file data sounds. Cast a wave. Warning. Data characters. Blah, blah, blah. Tries to load a non-numeric value at jump frame where a number is expected. Now, you're wondering, like, what does this mean? Uh, a lot of times, think of in terms of Windows 98 uh, or Windows 11 trying to run like a DOS game. I mean, you're thinking of a different game, which is on a different architecture or engine, etc., trying to run on a different setup. So in this case, this particular game was made like way, way back in like 2009 or so. So if you try to load this in the more recent open board, the scripting is simply not going to be applicable in the same respect. But if you went back and tried to load this on the original version that this game was designed on, it should run fine. But uh, as you already see here, going through the logs here, uh, there's basically like a, a death four wave so it couldn't load a sample when my character died so what's going to happen theoretically here what would happen if i like give myself infinity health and we're unable to die we shouldn't have to worry about load a sample from a death and the jump frames and all that from a death so we should be able to actually potentially bypass this entire issue so we're going to try this here 
Okay? And what TV shows, movies, and all that fun stuff have you been watching or listening to, music-wise, all that right now? I mean, I've been watching FUBAR, the Arnold Schwarzenegger show, Recruit, also on Netflix, and, of course, Night Agent. All three of these are fun. Reacher on, of course, Amazon Prime. List goes on. I'll probably watch, like, the based on the true story next. But Soldiers of Fear again. And I did a little bit of a fix on here because I... Uh, Reverse engineer this. I mean, think of like when we re- did the reverse engineering with the original developer of Avengers United Battle Force. All that fun stuff. And of course, uh, I did this with Jennifer as well because I also know there's an issue, uh, an anomaly with the script and language and that is too. So we're going to get into the game here. And uh, watch this very carefully. Uh, when I reverse engineered it, I went into the script and I modified a few things just to get this into like a theoretical test here. My hypothesis is that we're going to be able to have infinity health and not worry about the death animation and the jump frame crash issue. So back, we have uh, cheats on. We're going to give myself infinity health. And we're going to start the game. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter what character we pick. It's going to do the same thing regardless. We're going to fast forward here. Get to the crash point again. Look at that. You saw that ramble in the bottom left in our sports mega. So, okay. So hopefully uh, Soldiers of Fury sounds like a cool name, and if the original developer sees this, uh, contact me. I'd love to like have your input on this. But I want to have some open more games, like obviously I can't share like Rescue Palooza, like on the mod hub because it does have the copyright issues with the original company and such. That's why I like games like Journey to Silius, which could actually come like on Nintendo and stuff because they don't have to worry about having that Terminator license. But then, sometimes it's like a double-edged sword having the license in a game. Like, think of, like, the Ghostbusters video game or Scott Pilgrim, where that game was, like, uh, delisted for a while. Just like TMNT, Turtles in Time Remake. Okay? So, we're actually going through here, and we're not going to crash anymore because we can't die, right? It crashed right when I went past the waterfall, TLC style. We're going to see if we can at least get to, like, second stage here. You know what? Actually, we didn't die yet, so we're going to do this a very, very different way. We're actually going to exit here. And we're going to go on to the Mini Classic and run this game to the second stage the normal way. But yes, you can see it's working there. I'm going to get into the other thing here. Check this out. We're going to go on to uh, one thing I'm going to post with the release here. Now watch very carefully here. Uh, it's not like uh, transparent enough where you can actually click this, but in the release I'll have this open for all of you to view. Uh, right here, go into the commits. We have Avengers United Battle Force fixed. The game always crashed at a specific point in the game. But uh, the original developer, Douglas Baldwin, helped me, uh, re uh, you know, basically do the debugging on this. And going down here, it was related to, like, a character uh, Venom issue. And right here, he commented this part out. Right here, this part is commented out. That means anything between these two points is ignored completely, but it's there as far as context for developers to see. So we know that this is the issue that made the game crash right there. And uh, basically commenting this out right there. Makes it so the game works. So that's one fix right there. Then we have uh, Rescue Palooza, which had several stages which were locked. One into this, and we have uh, the great, great help of uh, the original developer, Mercer X, did this game. And of course, a uh, few people were great, great as far as Miss Malik, 681, and Bloodbane, as far as uh, helping deconstruct this and reverse engineer it so we can see the issues. And we have several stages which are unlocked now, going through here, you can see the commits as far as, like, what was changed there in the scripts. And uh, it's very, very cool stuff. I mean, it goes way, way down. Look at all this. Way, way, way down the line. And going farther back here, here's where it's going to get real interesting. I'm going to go back to the main page here for a moment here. I'm going to show you something where a game would typically have an issue. I'm going to the code right now. And I added uh, the pack for Jennifer, which kept crashing, but I was able to basically do what I just did with Akari Warriors. And should we say... Soldiers of Fury. And uh, we're going to go to uh, levels here. And sometimes games, uh, when you're trying to load these, they have issues going from stage to stage, so you kind of have to individually separate them. I'm going right here. And there should be, uh, I believe it was like end level. Let me see where it was. Uh, right here. Level one. So there's a point in the game where you like get a tombstone, and right there, you open it up, and as soon as you touch that knife on the ground, the item causes a level end. And you're like, what? What's the level one? We're going to go into the open board manual here. And here's the entire open board manual. I mean, you could literally make your own games with the open board engine by reading this manual. I'll have this in a release too, for those of you who want to have a better understanding of this. So we want to find the end level right there. End level. The entity is an item when touched by the player. 
will end the stage. It can be given a score value to be awarded for level completion. So what I did here is uh, with Jennifer, I modified the way the end level works and had like an older open board version, which doesn't utilize the end level the same way that the newer one does. There's a, a progression point where the newer open boards uh, commit wise actually change that. So some of the other games that use this legacy end level commit, or should we say scripting uh, protocol, will crash on the newer open boards. But I have this running with an older open board uh, just fine for the release for all the mini classics. But we're going to boot up the TurboGrafx 16 main right now, and we're going to load up the Car Warriors and get past level 2 and go into level 3. But hope you enjoyed the video so far, and this will go all in the next release. Okay, we're on the TurboGrafx 16 mini right now. Of course, this will work on the other mini classics as well. I've been trying to decide if I want to call it Warriors of Fury or Soldiers of Fury. I mean, either or. I mean, what do you think? Warriors of Fury, Soldiers of Fury. Let me know. Whatever you uh, has the for you real briefly here. Again, if you try loading this like with the PPSSP, it'll load uh, as much memory as it can contain, and then it'll crash. I did a little bit of a test by removing assets and kind of reverting it back to a demo state, and I was able to get it to fully load, but that's not that big good, good to be able to actually run the game as you want for like the most recent version. But thanks a lot, Mercilex and Doug Bowden. You did some incredible stuff with Open Bore, and I thank your input. Okay, load the game here. Uh, start game. Now, typically when you start the game, and I've tested this like a hundred plus times, there's one thing that I just couldn't tolerate anymore after like the 50th time. So I just got rid of it. It's just the way it is. I'm going to do a new game. Story mode. I'm doing a new game, but you might notice one thing different in the new game here. And uh, no disrespect to the original developer, but I am uh, I have a big pet peeve when it comes to being forced to do tutorials in any game. Driver is like the nail in the coffin here or the nail in my foot. I just hate tutorials that you cannot skip. I mean, that's my only gripe with any game. And then, of course, the second gripe would be like unskippable cinemas, like the original 20 minutes of Okami, 20 minutes that you can't skip. I mean, look, you can actually go fast through this, but I don't want to do the tutorial with Splinter 20,000 times. I want to play the awesome, awesome game here, which is one of the best TMNT games ever made. We don't need a tutorial. Do an update, have the tutorial optional. But now we go right to the level thing here. Here's where it gets really cool when we get to the game. Normally, if you play this in the uh, non-proprietary version, uh, there are certain stages that you can't ac access. You can't do the fan stage or Dimension X, but here I can click Dimension X and I can go right into the stage. See? It went into the stage. So that was some of the reverse engineer no, to make it actually work out of Mini Classics, whereas you would not be able to actually select the stage or the van stage, etc. I mean, it is what it is, but now we can play it. Look at that. It's awesome. Love this stuff. <laughs> Such a great game. Great four-player mode activate. I love the fact that you can run, too. Run is one thing that is sorely missed in any game. Like, you can't run in the original Final Fight, but you can run in some of the Open board Final Fight remakes. I mean, you want to be able to double tap forward and run. Just like Battletoads. We need Battletoads and TMNT crossover. And uh, if any of you have seen, like, the new Transformers movie, uh, spoiler alert for the next few seconds here, there's going to be a crossover if this movie succeeds. And I'm very, very thoroughly looking forward to the crossover. And I kind of hope they have a specific actor who is in, like, Third Rock from the Sun in the crossover, too. Uh, Jennifer works fine. I showed that in a previous video. But we're going to do Warriors of Fury or, of course, like, uh, Soldiers of Fury. Let me know which one appeals to you. So start this game for a moment here. We'll get to the point where it would normally crash. Winners don't use drugs. And even though we have Infinity Health, which is kind of like a duct tape fix for right now, I mean, I'll probably poke around with this and try to find a true fix. And maybe Doug Bowden can help out with this. Or the original developer could come forth. But I'm sure it's some expertise of a fellow open board developer because I have like a less 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 uh ability in this stuff because i'm more into like doing the retro arc and uh course now f1 stuff so i'm kind of branching out a little bit to the uh open board stuff which is pretty damn awesome but listen to this great music here let's actually start the game option uh system option we're gonna go to the cheese turn them on go back uh infinity health on back start game new game okay uh we'll play as the female again we want to get to the second stage where the game crashes. Get a little more volume on my TV. I have to say this music is just awesome. 
Engine failure are fallen. Brace yourselves. All your base belong to us. No, arg. <laughs> yeah, just listen to this music. It's incredible. I'm not sure. I mean, I have to look at the credits. Who actually did this music. Or if it was utilized from like another game. But I love this music. And I just completely dug playing this for a whole hour from beginning to end. Listening to all this music. But yeah, let me know what TV shows, movies, all that fun stuff you're watching. Like I said, FUBAR, Night Agent, Recruit, uh, of course, uh, stuff like Jack Reacher, a.k.a. Reacher on Amazon Prime. I'm going to watch it based on a true story next. Uh, Transformers is great. I'm going to see the Flash movie next week, but we're going to call it the Batman movie. Okay, we want to get to the second stage here. Awesome. We're, again, we're on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini right now. Let's get around find out all the other minis as well. Oh, I love this. Look how brutally violent this is. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can actually, like, uh, use filters in the game to make them kind of cleaner looking, too. So we're going to do that. We can actually just push uh, Start Select and pull up the options here for video. It's almost like the Retro Shortcut, but Start and then Select. We're going to go into Video Options uh, right here. Uh, we're going to go into the software filter. We're going to go up to 2XI, Super 2XI, Super Eagle, Advanced 2X. Look at that. Look how Advanced 2X looks. That looks beautiful. You can't run this on Red Shark on a mini classics. It just bogs it down, but it works fine. It's so optimized for the open bore extreme here. Continue. Look how beautiful that looks. You take a minor performance hit, but look how cool this looks. Some people are not into like the uh, 2X or the Super Eagle or 2X style, but I personally think it's kind of cool. Gives it more like a cartoony feel. We want to get to the second stage here. We're going to try to change it to uh, a shader filter uh, that's a little bit less uh, conspicuous there. Select video options, uh, go to. Uh, we'll try Super 2X style, which is uh, less of a performance hit. Back. Uh, back, continue. There we go. Let's have a performance hit now. I forgot we got special moves too. Like double tap forward does that special move right there. If we uh, throw people, grab them. Yep. Love that. Oh, yeah. Kind of like spamming that one move that Dwarf has in the amazing game Golden Axe. And yes, there's a Golden Axe return game for open board too. But yeah, let me know what games you're trying to run and uh, see about debugging them. But Jennifer, TMNT, uh, Rescue Palooza, and of course this are all working fine now. I'd like to be able to have this where you can actually die in a second stage and not have the game crash. But uh, this is fine for now. I mean, you can still enjoy it. Okay, second stage. Love this music. Oh, yeah. By the way, we could also change the music here. Let's do this. I want to hear this music a little bit more. So we're going to change the music volume up here. Is that like games like Adventures of Batman and Robin on Genesis where it's more surreal, where you have like the loud music and lower sound effects? So we're going to do like 300 for music and kind of take the sound effects just down a little bit. I do this for my racing games too. Okay. Back. That's how I like it. I like hearing that music. Amazing music. We want to get to the third stage here. And yes, this game, this game will go on to Mod Hub once I remove the uh, copyright infringing type stuff. And like I said, if the original developer sees this video, reach out to me in the comments on YouTube and I'd love to be able to fix this up. They have like a, a Soldiers of Fury or Warriors of Fury 2K23 type of thing. Yeah, I love this music. I love all the music for, of course, uh, Jennifer as well. Some great metal music in there. I like the fact that you have infinity ammo for this stage, too. I mean, you don't have infinity ammo on in the first stage. So it's kind of for, I mean, because you're in a water level, it's kind of do like a bio ability where it's uh, focusing on, like, the guns more so than, like, the jump kicks and all that. We just need to get to the third stage. Because, like I said, many of you tried this and never made it to the third stage. We're on the boss there. Very, very well done. 
We can do three player mode activate as well, of course. If you want to the controls right now, like uh, start like the day controls, you can actually map the controls for port two and port three there and have three player mode activate with three people. <laughs> okay, should we go to the next stage now? Oh yeah! Snap into a Slim Jim. Wow, that's so nice seeing that mission in place. Okay, let's see what the next stage is. Oh, we can pick a different character now. Uh, we'll pick this guy. This is cool. I love games where they allow you to pick a different character per thing. And that's what uh, the big fight uh, game, which I added to main 2003 stream for the next update as well. You're able to, like, basically unlock characters and select them right away. Let's see how the music is in this. Okay. There we go. Rambo on the left. Arnold Schwarzenegger on the right. But yeah, so this is one game that I kept poking at. I'm like, I'm going to debug this and get it working. And uh, sure enough, I showed you the debug log. It's because your character is perishing and the conflict with the older scripts versus the newer open bore. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it takes, whoa, whoa, whoa. It takes roughly an hour to beat this game. I mean, get two friends, compadres, to play this game with you. We got bomb? Can we use that bomb? Oh, no. Yeah, remember how to pick the items up here. Ah, I'm keep getting knocked down. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It was a triangle button on my controller to pick that up, but of course we can remap that. I need more weapons! <laughs> that was like it, it almost looks like it says like minigun from there. Okay, it's actually my X button that picks the weapon up and triangle shoots it. There we go. I'm getting used to these controls. I never really played it far enough to where it mattered, because the game always crashed after the second stage. I'm going to go back into uh, Start Select here and change the video options one more time. Uh, we'll go to uh, Simple X again. Just classic, tried and true. See, now it's faster again. So you take the performance hit, but not so much as you would like for retro arc. Now we can actually play a little bit higher octane here. I know that X picks up the weapon. I'm curious if I could actually, oh, I don't know if I could turn the cheat off and have it active right away. I mean, you might have to restart the game to do that. There we go. I kind of like playing a female character a little bit better. I'm not used to this character. There we go. <laughs> Don't you hate when you pick up a weapon and you get knocked out right away? I want to be able to run. That's another thing. I get into the script then and have the characters where you can double tap run. That's another thing that needs the menders for them. So, remove the copyright thing, and let's make these characters run. I'm going to see if I can actually, uh, let me try it real quick. Uh, let's see if we can turn the Infinity Health off, and see if we can actually die again. Sometimes you can immediately, sometimes it would actually not permit until you restart the game. Yep, we can lose health. Let's see if we have a crash here. I want to pick a different character. There we go. There we go, Hadouken. See if the game crashes here. I should lose a life on purpose to see if I crash. Come on, let's see if I die. Ah, I might respawn. There we go. Okay, so the second stage is the primary issue right now. So there we go, folks. You can just have Infinity Health on for the second stage. Should we say, whoa! No, oh, wow! So I'm just going to have the cheats enabled for the release. 
and then you can just toggle on for any health for the water portion where it normally crashes. You might be able to do the entirety of the rest of the game without having to worry about infinity any health again. Just play it legitimately. That's awesome. I want to try the other character though. Let me lose a life on purpose and continue with the other character. Come on, take me down to the Paradise City. Oh wait, I forgot I have 677 lives. That was another little uh, testing. I'm not going to have that for the release though. So we'd have to like make it past the stage and we can pick the other character. As you can see, I'm getting my butt whooped there. <laughs> there we go, I'm getting better. There's another thing you can do as far as exploiting. Uh, if the enemies are on the same plane as you, they would typically be able to hit you, but if I go below them and just walk right up into them, I have a chance to be able to hit them before they hit me. Like, I'll try to be on a separate plane. And you can use this in a lot of games, like Double Dragon, etc. Especially with like a Bobo and Double Dragon on the uh, conveyor belt. There we go. Of course, you gotta worry about enemies like uh, uh, getting you from behind, but I'm gonna go up and down here. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. Get the bomb here. So yeah, it seems like the AI is uh, where I can take advantage of it by simply being on a different plane as the character. As long as there's not too many characters on the uh, plane at one time. So go above. There we go. Above. Of course, that other, the Saget style character from like Street Fighter got me there. Oh no. Move up and down, up and down, up and down. Beeline. I like that you have the little invincibility frames there when you get hit where you can actually dodge bullets for a moment there. I need a gun there. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Definitely a great two-player mode after the game. Yeah, stay away here. Oh, I ran out of ammo. I need that infinity ammo. Dude, again, I wouldn't try to make it where you have infinity ammo for the whole game. I more or less just want to be able to run. Especially if you can, like, run and do jump kicks. Are we going to be able to pick a different character? Not yet. Life! Oh, that should have hurt them. <laughs> I need uh, I need another person here. Two player mode activate. What if we could do this? Uh, we're gonna try a little experiment here. Uh, select uh, control options. Set up player two. It might not let me do this, but I'm oh yeah, because it's on keyboard, so you can't do it here. But if I and like Retroarch, you can actually map it where you were using the same character with both. Here, I don't think you're gonna be able to do it quite the same. I'm gonna turn multi-hit glitch on. I'm gonna see if I can do like multi-hit. See what that glitch is all about. Here we go. I want a different. I want to try the third character. I didn't try yet. There we go. So we're going to go above the plane here. Hey, yo, check it out. Get started, of course that guy charged me. <laughs> okay. Again, stay below the enemy. The funny thing is if you play Double Dragon 4, you stay in the bottom of the stage, enemies can't touch you. You can literally go up and just uh, pot shot at them. Okay. I was, want to briefly try the other character. Oh, that'd be a cool character to have unlocked right there. So yeah, I'm just gonna have the cheat enable for like Jennifer and this for uh, the release. So if you want to be able to turn on like Infinity Lives and all that fun stuff, you're welcome to. But you need Infinity Energy at least until we uh. Completely debug why it's crashing in the water stage. Oh, I should have been able to hit that. Anyway. This music here sounds like very familiar to like some other song I know. You ever hear like 
kind of like that uh, one RDM song that sounds like the Mega Man uh, Quick Man stage. Thing. I always like how open board games like slow down like that too. Almost like Drider, where you can jump off an air and have like a free frame. Okay, we're gonna be able to pick another character. Let's see. Okay, so we tried the female, we tried her. We need to try her other character. K9999, okay. This is the type of thing where like, I could have this music playing endlessly like in a loop and it probably wouldn't annoy me. I mean, many years ago, I was playing like Gauntlet over my friend's house, we played Mike Tyson Punch Out. My mom and his mom were listening to Nothing Compared to You by Shinette O'Connor. Like, repeatedly, probably like 187 times throughout the night. I never want to hear that song again. I mean, that song is still beating into my head, but I'm fine with the Prince version of it. Okay, uh, we tried him, we tried her. Let's try this character now for a brief moment. And this will be the end of the video. I just at least want to see this character for a moment here. Okay, but again, let me know if you want to be Soldiers of Fury or Warriors of Fury. I don't think I can quite get away with calling it Akari Warriors because I don't want to have to contend with SNK. Out of respect. I do have the SNK collection for my uh, PS4. I think it's totally badass because you could actually, uh, when you're doing like the test demo demonstration for the game, you could simply push start and jump in the game anytime. That is so nice. I mean, you could like literally let it play like to the final stage push start and jump right in the game. I think that is so cool. Okay, Rambo and Arnold Schwarzenegger again. And I remember uh, Escape Plan a few years ago with both of them that I saw in the theater. Fun, fun stuff. But let me know what other open board games uh, are basically uh, of interest to you. And there's another band that I, I started hearing like recently and I got a kick out of. I mean, I like the band Ghost. And their latest album sounds a lot like a Metallica style album from like the Black Album. And here's another interesting thing, like uh, one of the Metallica albums actually, the cover was actually designed by a contest winner who went to my high school, of all things. Because I went to a tech center and the person who worked in the art department there, he did the album cover that made it into the Metallica album. And I'm not even going to tell you what the album cover was zoomed in. It actually is a provocative, uh, sexually oriented thing, which is kind of funny that they actually got away with it. But other than that, I heard this other band just randomly, which is like kind of like an industrial heavy dance style thing called an Electric Cowboy. And if you want to see something interesting, <laughs> oh jeez, especially the train song. Talk about crazy music. Oh yeah. I'm getting used to the controls now, folks. Oh, them barrels, pesky barrels. I remember them being like in, uh, like, Double Dragon, Phantom Toad crossover game. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more to come. And of course, we get to simply go to start and end the game and go right back to the main menu. It usually shows the credits when you end the game.